Hey guys. So I seen a tutorial last year and I fell in love with the cup and I've been wanting one ever since I seen it, but I have never sat down to attempt to make one or had the supplies to do it. So I broke down and got my supplies. Oops. And we are going to attempt to make a dragon cup. Oh, let me see if that shape will work. One second. That should work. We need it a little flatter though for what I'm doing. Okay, so again, I'm making a dragon cup. I had seen a tutorial last year in one of the groups that I'm in, and it was probably one of the coolest cups I've seen. And I decided I wanted one. I just have never gotten around to making one. So we are going to attempt to make a dragon cup. 3D dragon cup at that. Okay, okay, I'm happy with that. Okay, so what I've done is I have taken Sculpey big clay, okay, warmed it up in my hands, just like this, warmed it up, warmed it up, warmed it up, rolled it out, just rolled it, rolled it, rolled it like a good um, biscuit batter or whatever right to the side to the thickness that you want I want to don't want it too thick because um, it is baked clay you're gonna bake it um, and also you don't you know want it super thick because you are going to add stuff onto this um, on your cup so let me I think yeah, we'll go like that. we're gonna go like that for our eye just like that Okay, so I have my shape that I want to use. I'm hoping you can see pretty good. I have our eye where I want it. Okay, like that. Okay, I'm just going to put it in there. I'm just going to put it there. This is our base, okay? This is a base that we're working with. And as you can see down here, I have cut out a bunch of little teardrop shapes. Let's get, get one closer. Just little teardrop shapes and I took um, I don't know the names of them this little clay tool and I just kind of scratch 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 scratched I wanted them to have like a little bit of texture to it okay so just a little bit of texture and it's just a little teardrop like cookie cutter fondant cutter whatever it is little teardrop okay and I just did all that all that all that so you've got your shape, and I guess I should explain what, what we're doing here. So I have this cup, and I have my shape, right? My shape is going to be maybe too big. So like my eye is going to stick out right here on the cup, like this, okay? And then we're actually gonna have claws that are gonna come around right there, okay? I think that's big enough. I don't want it too big. I think that should be okay. Okay, so again, use the teardrop. Cut out all the little shapes after I had rolled it out and flattened it. Then um, scratched it to give it just a little bit of texture. I already cut out a whole bunch of them. I still have some that I haven't scratched out. Um, again, I don't want to do a super huge long video, so I'll do step by step by step. Um, then I took, and they probably could have been a little thicker, but I think it'd be okay, um, a round cutter and cut out a shape. Once I got the circle, I just kind of laid it over at the circle again, just a little bit, moved it down a little bit to give me one, I cut it after I moved it down, you know, and then it gave me that much right there. And then I cut it and that's what was left. Okay. These are eyelids. 
And I got one that's a little bit bigger than the bottom. Let me see if I can actually move you a little closer. I had one that was a little thicker than the other ones, so I was going to use the thicker one for the top eyelid. That's what those are going to be, the eyelids. And I'm sure I do not have near enough um, dragon scales for as big as my thing is, but it's going to give us a start. And then i got to figure out how to keep my clay from drying out before I'm able to bake it, because I actually started doing this pretty late today and wasn't thinking about it. Okay, let's see if I can move you a little closer. just cutting little scales, cutting little scales. This one's going to need to be fixed. Somehow it got flat, so did this one, but I think I can work with it. Maybe one more, maybe the other way. Okay. Move like a little mini spatula. <laughs> My exacto knife stabs him. Okay, there we go. Now you can see maybe a little bit better. Okay, so again, here's my shape for my eye. And since I'm making it a little crooked, let's, uh, let's kind of come down a little bit this way. There, it's a little better. Okay. Then, you got your shape, you got your eyeball. You're just going to place this on. Just kind of rub it down so it sticks. Just giving it the illusion of an eyeball or of an eyelid, I guess. And you don't want it to, um, you know, you don't want to see the eyeball. You want to make it look like an actual eye. Okay. See? Just gives it a little more 3D effect. Push it down just a little bit so I know it's going to stay. Okay, there's that. Now we are to start layering our dragon scales. So I'm going to grab one up. I'm just going to kind of pinch it, shape it a little bit maybe. Okay. And we're going to start at the top and work our way down to the eyeball. Put it where I want it, up right up there at the top, and just rub, rub the edge where I put it so it kind of sticks. Grab another one, same thing, kind of squishing, just squishing a little bit. Rub it in. Rub it. The ribbon just helps it stick to your base. Pinch the edges a little bit. Come 
actually gonna stick another one right there first. better. Okay. Go under with this one as well. Them to look full, full of skills. So I am just layering, adding, rubbing, rubbing them in, pinching, just kind of give them all different little shapes. So these are pointy.
Okay, I got my epoxy warming up and getting ready to do some stuff, but for uh, the time being, why that's happening, I thought I'd jump on here and do this part real quick. Um, now this is gonna be the dragon claw on our uh, 3D dragon cup we're making. Um, I did change the eye. Someone had commented that, um, not on, on this page, on a group that I had shared it in, that dragons actually have slits for eyes. And I know this, I've seen a million, million dragon pictures, but I absolutely loved the color of this side, the way it looked. And um, so if it's a true dragon cup, we have to have a slit eye, which is weird because I bought a dragon kit and two of the eyes are around, only one was slit. But anyway, okay, so I ran out of white. I have this much left. It's not as enough to fill my mold. Um, but I have some brown, light brown, and it's no big deal because we are going to be baking this and painting it anyway. So not that it matters, but I was going to put some white in each one. Oops. And just fill it in. It doesn't really matter. Like I said, we are basically going for the shape not the color because the color is going to be painted so now I'm just gonna fill in oops, with the rest of the brown uh, this was a mold that came in my uh, dragon kit and you can also get them on Amazon Trying to get the shape and the markings. Not so worried about what the back looks like as much as you are what the front looks like because that's got all the shape uh, and the little, I guess, markings, I guess, to make it look like a real claw. Now again, this is my only my second time playing with clay, baking clay. Um, and I've never actually filled a mold with clay, so. I'm gonna see what this looks like when it comes out. As long as the sides and the front of the inside of the mold I have covered with clay, we are good. Because I just want to make sure it gets all those little impressions on the sides of the mold. And then we're gonna pull these out and see what they look like. I haven't played with it. I probably should have played with it before I did the video just in case it didn't look right. Because I haven't done this yet. But we will find out together. And I can shape them. Um, I'm not shape them, I'm sorry. Smooth them out in the back a little bit. Once I get them out and they look okay. Plus my brown clay is just a little older. Uh, I bought this a while ago. I was playing with clay for something else. Oh, I was making resin jewelry. And I, I couldn't figure it out. Couldn't figure out the resin without getting bubbles in it. Just trying to warm up my clay a little bit with the heat on my hand. And hopefully these bad boys pop out okay. All right, time will tell. Here we go. There's one, there's two. Oh, that one's a little thin. And there's three, whoops, get out of there. Oh, that's okay. I'll just curve it around the cup. Kind of the middle one looks kind of thin anyway. I think that's okay. I think that will be all right. All right, so there's the claws. Okay, now let's get our cut back here. So there's the eye I went with. It's pretty. It's just not as pretty as the blue one. So I'm definitely going to have to either order more eyes or make my own. Okay, so I'm right-handed. 
So I don't want my claws in my way, right? So I'm gonna put my claws over here. And we're just gonna put them randomly somewhere. Shape them on the cup. Oh, I don't know if I'm in, oops. I don't know if I'm in frame or not. So like maybe right here. Okay. Just trying to get them to curve. Well, we know where we're gonna put them. These aren't permanent. I'm just trying to get the curve of the cup. So you'll get the gist of it. Maybe we should just go ahead and put them in the front. So they're not on a right or left-handed. Okay, ooh, ooh. They're not wanting to stick to my cup. Okay, so anyway, you get the idea, right? So there's the claws. Okay, ooh. Now I may go and soften my clay a little bit more and fix my claws since that was the first time I'd done the mold. I mean, they, they, they're okay, but I want, them, I want them more like this one. So I will probably redo those. Once I get these done, I'll place them back on the cup exactly where I want them. And then I believe I bake it at 275. I have to go back and look at my directions and I'll, I'll mention that when I come back on the next video of what I baked them at when we get ready to paint and everything uh, and do more process because there's a ton more to do to this cup. Okay, so there's my dragon, there's my claws. I'll decide exactly where we put them once we uh, glue them, but I get them in the vicinity of where I think I might want them um, so that they get that curve on the cup. So when I bake the cup, they stay that shape, okay? All right, so I will check back with you later. Okay, back for step number three. Uh, well, we might get like two steps in here, but I need to go ahead and get the eye and claws glued on um, and some other stuff so that way they can start drying. Once they are dry, probably I'd say just to be safe, 24 hours is probably less than that, but just to be safe, 24 hours, and then I'll go on to step number four. So um, I ended up baking the clay. Um, the directions say 275 for 15 minutes per quarter inch. Um, so I ended up baking them about 30, 35 minutes because I wanted to be sure that they were baked. Okay, and then the claws. I ended up not going back and redoing them. I just left them. I figured they were fine. They're claws, they're claws. Okay, so they're baked. And if you remember, if you watched the last video, if not, go watch step one, step two. Um, we formed the clay around a cup, and then we baked it on a cup um, so that it would keep the curve of the cup on the shape of the clay. You see that? So it's not flat. It's curved to where I wanted it on the cup. So it fits there perfectly, right? So now we're going to glue it on place. Now I have a crappy old brush that's not good for painting, but I'm going to use it instead of trying to um, little by little get this glue on here. I want to make sure that this glue is going to stay, keep our, um, our eye in place. So I'm just going to make sure we get enough on there. I don't know if I'm in frame. I don't want to drip it on the cup. I guess I could move the cup out of the frame for a minute. Lay that down. That'd be a lot easier, wouldn't it? Because this glue is thick. Okay. I just want to make sure that it's covered well enough so that it touches the cup. Everywhere that it touches the cup, it's got glue. I mean, I don't want it moving. I don't want to take the chance of getting epoxy underneath it and it causing it to move because sometimes it will, oops, sometimes it will lift vinyl up, um, the epoxy. Sometimes you think things are down really good. Next thing you know, they're lifted up. So I just want to make sure, man, this, this glue is really thick. Really, 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 really thick. So we're going to do it like this. Just get a little, maybe, right there. Just picking up glue everywhere. And I, I may be overkilling it with the glue. But like I said, I don't want it to move. Because the epoxy, if there's any cracks, which I'm sure there's going to be, but if there's any cracks between the cup and the clay, the epoxy is going to get underneath of it, which is fine because it will help fill in cracks. We just want to make sure our dragon eye is on this cup. 
Okay, I think that should be good there. Just a little extra, 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 extra. I think that's probably plenty of glue. Just a minute, make sure I get it on the right spot. Pretty close. Okay. Alright, so I'm just gonna hold it. And we do have a lot of glue on there. Just gonna hold it for a few. See there's gonna be there's gonna be spots where there's a gap between the cup and the epoxy. But imagine if you just baked it on your tray flat and tried to put it on a curved cup, how much fill in was going to be necessary. Okay. It moved a little, it's sliding just a little bit. So after I get the eye on where I want it, well, it looks pretty good. Okay. The weight of it does cause it to move and it slips. Just pushing, 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 pushing. Oh, I'm hoping I'm still in frame. <laughs> I'm not paying attention. Okay, I'm gonna hope that doesn't roll. And I decided I do want my claws. Let's see, my hand is not here. I wanted them over here, like this. So we're gonna go ahead and glue on the claws. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I think I want them like, yeah, like your pinky, like that's your pinky finger. Okay, so just putting some glue. There we go. Strings. We'll put it about right here. because he is sliding. Not to worry about extra glue. <clears throat> sliding, getting the eyes starting to stick a little bit. Just need, need everything to stick. <clears throat> Wait to see what this is going to look like. Do, do, do. There's claw two, and then here's our last claw. Our claws. Okay. He's still wanting to move, so let's just hold on to him for a few. so they don't move. There we go. Okay. We'll let that kind of just sit there for a minute. 
He's still wanting to move. Stay, buddy, stay. Okay, so why, hopefully that doesn't move too much. Then, another thing we're gonna do is, um, I went with a purple base, because you know purple's my favorite color, of course. Hopefully you know purple's my favorite color. Um, purple's my favorite color, so um, I'm probably gonna use some different shades of purples and maybe some, well, we'll see, we'll see what I use on there. But, um, so I wanted the purple base so that I didn't have to worry about white showing through and I didn't want it black because I'll probably use some light purples for, um, you know, highlighting. Um, so I gotta make sure they show too. So I just went with this purple and this should work. So then the next step is I had, <clears throat> excuse me, some eggs for breakfast a couple days ago. And I washed them out really good. And then I stuck them up in this bowl in the windowsill so they would dry. This is going to be some of our scales. So we're just gonna take a little piece of egg. We're gonna break it. We're going to put maybe some scales here. Just gonna put some random little spots of glue. Okay, a little bit on my egg. I'm just gonna, oh, get the little fuzzy on it. I'm just gonna lay it somewhere. Get off there, fuzzy. Oh, it's string from glue. Okay, I'm gonna lay it on there and I'm gonna push. A little bit of glue on it just to make sure I have all the spots covered. Just a little bit. I'm going to lay it on the cup and push it down. Okay. And you're thinking eggs? eggs on a cup. Well, it gives it texture on the cup. You're going to be painting it, so you're not going to see actual eggs shells. You're just going to see the texture. I'm going to lay that there. Like that. And push it down. Here. I'm just going to put a little bit extra down here so I can just keep doing it. Okay. Push it. Push it real good. Push it down. to go in there. Okay. That's all I'm doing. Just adding eggshells, pushing them down, making them crack. Cracking eggs. A little bit more glue so it's bigger. Now the whole cup is not going to have dragon scales, just in spots I think. I'm, I haven't quite decided. I may end up doing the whole cup, I haven't decided yet, but I'm also adding uh, little sections of uh, opal, translucent, whatever you want to call it, glitter to give it some extra like little shimmer in spots, some color changing glitter I imagine.
corners are sticky. Excuse me. Boy, I'm getting fuzzy stuck all with my fingers. <clears throat> This video to be too long just showing you about what we're doing here a couple of more spots here I think this is good for this area here figured out um, I have a new best friend uh, well another best friend I should say not a new best friend another best friend um, she's she lives really close which is awesome she's very supportive very friendly very sweet she's a lot like me which is weird um, I mean a lot like me and um, like I said she lives really close uh, we have a lot of the same interest, which is awesome. Um, she's not a, um, oh, sorry, I got sidetracked there. Um, like I said, she's just, she's just great. And it's so funny. I mean, um, we talk a lot. And, uh, yeah, and it, what's even funnier is, uh, her name is Tanya, too. Isn't that weird? It's me. It's myself. I talk to myself all the time now. I'm answering myself. I'm like all day, let's go do this, let's go do that. Hey, well, well, well look at this, that worked, blah, 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 blah. I talk to myself more than anything. Okay. So there's eggshells glued on. Okay, there's our dragon eye in our cup. This is the front of the cup. So I'm going to, in random spots, go around the cup and just glue sections. I may do the whole cup, I haven't decided yet, but there's gonna be eggs. Then there's going to be like little sections of translucent glitter, you know, and then I, like I said, the glitter goes last because I have to paint all this first. So, um, I'll decide how much eggs goes on there and then I will pop on for the next step, which would be, uh, painting. Okay. I may, um, next video I may pop on, uh, for part four and we may go ahead and um, add a couple more eggshells, but you've already seen me add the eggshells, so probably not. We'll just pop on the next time after I have all my eggshells on, and then we'll paint the cup. So there we go so far. Thanks for watching, guys. We are ready for step four to paint it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start dabbing all my colors. Um, Took me forever to decide what color I wanted. Um, you know I like purple, so still couldn't decide because I do want to put glitter on it as well. Um, so I chose this uh, color shift color, and it is called a blue flash. So it's like a blue to a to a purple kind of color, um, but it was a little too blue. 
So I added some stuff to it. Um, you can't really see it, but I added some, um, what's this called, Raven Black pigment to it. And then I also added, do, 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 where'd it go? I have this wonderful stuff, uh, pearl pigment, chameleon pearl pigment. So I added a little bit of uh, red, violet, blue, green to it. Gives it a little extra shimmer, a little extra sparkle. Then I had this metallic purple, but it just wasn't the right color purple. So I did the same thing. I added some of that raven black to it. And then I have one that has red, gold, and um, blue in it. So I added that to this to give it a little extra sparkle. And then I used this uh, malachite green. Again, it was a little too green. So I added some of the raven black. And then I have some of that sparkle that has like a green, gold, and a, I think it was a blue color to it to give it a little extra. No, it does not. So be very careful with the water slide. Neither one of them do. And the one on the back, I just put on. Sorry, David's, um, I, could, I only have three gloves left. So whoop, whoop, David is um, epoxying some, some cups for me because we can't seem to find gloves anywhere. And the, um, the blue ones that I use, I can't find anywhere. Sorry, I'm wiping the paint off my hands real quick. Um, the blue ones I use, I can't find anywhere. And um, I've only been able to find the clear vinyl ones, you know, like for food grade. Um, and those are not appropriate for epoxy and kind of, um, they're kind of hard to work with. Okay, so there's my colors I chose. So we're going to, I'm just going to dab them on uh, randomly because I don't want it to be one solid color. Um, I want it to be a little different in all different spots. And then once this all dries, I'll probably, or I will, go back and maybe add some highlights to it, maybe darken up a few little spots, um, you know, just to give it more definition, I guess. So here we go. Happy, happy Dobbin. I want to start here, make sure I stay in frame and not knock over my paints. I was going to go live, but I just, I don't know. This, this works for me. I'm too busy concentrating on what I'm doing sometimes. I feel like I don't answer or talk enough when I'm going live um, because I'm looking at the camera or I'm too focused on my cup. Well, these are getting in my way, so hang on. I'm just trying to make it a cleaner background for you to see. Okay, like I said, just dabbing, dabbing wherever I feel, see fit. And then we'll always we'll go back and add and layer and just get it all looking nice and nice and shimmery. I did not put shells on the bottom. I didn't want shells on the bottom. We'll save the dragon piece part for last. So just dabbing, dabbing colors wherever, filling in. this color I'm sure I'll go over oh I did that in the wrong one so let's get a different sponge I'm sure I'll go over it a few times um, to make sure that all the eggs are covered, that it's got a nice good color to it. I cannot wait to see what this is going to look like when it's done. Okay, I love the 
screen. I can show you're in focus where you can see. Covering up the eggs, so it's going to give it that texture. Get a, I'll probably actually uh, cut a little bitty teeny piece to get down in here so that I can get it really good before I actually get the eye. The claws, I have decided I gotta go find it, um, but I want to paint the actual claws a mirror finished uh, fingernail polish <laughs> so that they really stand out, the claws. So I gotta go find some because I don't, I don't. I've never painted my nails like that with a mirror finish, so I gotta go find some. I thought that would look really cool, make it stand out a little bit more. I wish I might be able to get in there. cracks and creases of those different eggs because they're all layered differently. Let's see, I'm going to keep going over the spots that I've already put on there to make them a little darker. What are you looking at? Turner, some of my turners sound sick. Sorry for the dryer, he is working on cuts in the background for me. We are just popping, popping on to watch the video and didn't see the very beginning. Well, it's not live, I don't know what I'm talking about, Tanya. Never mind, it's not live, but sorry for the, sorry for the dryer. Oops, did it again. Dipped it in both colors. 
guess it doesn't matter. They're all getting blended in together anyway, sort of. Just going through. Whoops, dropped something. Going through. Okay, now here I need a half of one or a smaller one. Some blue paint, or not blue paint, blue uh, painter's tape. Thank you. We'll let this dry, but you can see the start of it. Then I'm gonna finish uh, dabbing on in the areas that I've already dabbed on colors. And then I will do another video for the eyes and the claws minus the actual nail because I gotta get the fingernail polish. But there we are so far. Hey guys so ready for step what is this five I'm ready to go ahead and paint the eye and the claws um, and then after I get all that done then I'm ready to go ahead and apply glitters in random little spots um, so last you seen I had applied color to all the eggshells and I'm just gonna let it dry um, for you know, until I was ready to do it again. I've been a little busy. Um, so as you can tell, it looks a little different since you've seen it last. Um, I don't know if I have too much light. I went through and I took some black that I had mixed with um, that razor's edge or whatever we, Raven's, whatever we used the other day to uh, make it sparkly and a little darker. Um, and then I also added some of my shimmer dust to it. Um, to give it just a little bit of sparkle. So I went through and I added some black in some random spots just to kind of break it up a little bit. Okay, and then I took, um, I don't know if you could see the red, the reddish gold in here and then the gold just to kind of, and I'll, you know, obviously when it gets done, you'll see better pictures of, of more of what, um, and we may have this light maybe what, messing with this, let's see here. 
anyway so I just went through and added um, some pinata rich gold dabbed it on and some uh, halo violet gold Lumiere um, just dabbed them on a sponge and randomly added it just to give it a little extra and a little extra look when the epoxy hits it and the light hits it when you're turning it around okay then I taped off my eyeball just so I don't cover up that eye and let's see um, I took the purple that's on the cup and I just added a bunch of you can actually see some on my stick I just added a bunch of different shimmer powders um, to it to give it a little extra oomph and I actually added some of this Lumiere Rich Gold in there too to give it, um, not Rich Gold, I'm sorry, the uh, Rich Halo, whatever it was called, Halo Violet Gold in there to give it a little extra shimmer. And then um, I'll go to Mainly, like my thoughts, uh, Mainly coat it in this color. Then I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna um, take a smaller brush after I get it all pretty much coated, the purple, I might leave some spots not coated go in and with the black and do in each one down in here to give it highlight and depth and then I'll probably put a little bit of green on there and some of the blue that's in the cup and then obviously go back in and dab a little bit with um, the two gold and that red halo violet so that's my thoughts so here we go and hopefully that'll look all right I just wanted it to stand out a little bit more than the cup. I didn't want it to just, you know, do the same thing to it and it blend. So I'm not too worried about missing in the center or anything because, you know, I'm going to go back in and add color to it. Black and the blue and the greens, everything that's in the, um, on the cup. Okay, and I hope I still got you in frame. Okay, yes. So just going through and painting, 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 painting. I am so happy with how this cup is turning out. Um, I can't wait to get it all the way done with the painting done and the glitters added um, and then start spinning it because once that epoxy hits the uh, all these colors, that's when everything's really gonna pop for it and really just make it stand out. All that little sparkle I put in there, all the different golds and the, the blue sparkles and the red sparkles and uh, violet. There's all kinds of different stuff in here. Okay, so just going through. Make sure all the top is coated, then I'll, or not all of it, but then I'll go around and make sure we got all the sides. Wanna make sure we don't see any of the clay that wouldn't look very good. That would be an unfinished piece. I, I'm just absolutely so thrilled with this cup. Like I said, um, if you want, you know, I, you can see my little videos that I've posted, or if you really want to see like the whole entire um, tutorial from like start to finish um, with the lady that, um, I don't know if she created it, but it was the lady that I came across. Um, she is in a group called Tumblr Hacks 101. Um, and if you just search Chapa, C-H-A-P-A, -A, you should come across all her videos um, and you should be able to see her start to finish dragon. Um, and then you will be able to find out where to also order the dragon kit. You can get the things by yourself, um, but I priced them out. And to have everything that came in the kit minus the paints I didn't necessarily need the paints I have tons of paint but it came with all the uh, clay working little tools that I would need and you know the little extruder that made this and three different kind of paints and a little glitter um, I've chosen to use something else with those you know other than the paints that came with it and the glitter um, but like I said all the tools the clay extruder the uh, the eyes um, even though even though two of them technically weren't dragon eyes according to the internet um, but uh, all of that and then it came with um, let's see the thing to do the eye shape uh, moon shapes with 
uh, the teardrops to do the little scales with. And like I said, all the clay working tools, and then I use those to make the little scores um, on the scales because I didn't want mine just plain. I'm not too worried about the nail. Um, I still haven't went and got mirror nail polish. Um, if I don't end up getting it done, getting it before I get this cup ready to put epoxy on it, I know me, I won't wait. I'll end up using this uh, really, really, really shiny. Uh, it's called Tester's paint for like, uh, what do you call it? Models and stuff. It's like super shiny. It's not mirror finish, but I think since I have all the gold in the cup, um, it will stand out just as good. I'm just going through. I'm going to try to move it so I can see, but we'll still keep you in frame. Right there. I'm just going through and making sure all my claws are covered. And then I'm going to go back through and dab all my colors on. Don't want to see any of that clay. Oops a little on my claw after I just painted them white so I could see them better. Okay. That's part of the claw so I'll save that part. And then I got a little bit that's raised up back here so I want to make sure that's covered even though epoxy should get under there. I want to make sure that that's all covered and nothing is seen. No clay seen. Okay, I've still got you in frame, yep. Okay. Just getting my claws, getting my claws, getting my claws covered. Just let them down here. Oh, and see, I see a missed little piece of egg, so I'm gonna, there we go, go ahead and coat that. You won't even see it. Oh, there's another one. Helps to turn the cup around a lot so you can make sure you don't see any. Because there's so many different little, you know, crevices on these little molds and Okay. Okay, I think I got the claws covered. Now, just to make sure you can't see any clay on the outside of the dragon and underneath all the petals, or petals, pff, scales that are sticking up. I hope you can see. I'm not paying attention to the camera. Just don't want to see any clay. little brush here for a second. making sure I get down in the cracks because the base that I built the eye up on, you can kind of see a little bit underneath. So I'm just making sure I get all that covered. Go back this way a little bit so we can go back in this. Look at it from every angle so you don't miss a side of the scale or or a crack where you know he left 
got the oops, that's a big old hunk of paint right there with the, pet, the clay you know the way you got the the scales shaped they're lifting up in all different little ways and you know they got one two three sides to them or, or two sides to it I'm sorry two sides to it with a point just gotta make sure you get them all covered Almost got it. finding a couple teeny little egg spots underneath where I missed painting it. Getting in all the little cracks. I don't want to leave any white. I don't want to see it later and be like, oh man. Missed a little piece. Every time I looked, I find a new little spot. That's why I said, move it, move it, move it. If you make, if you make one, move it around, move it around, move it around. Just keep looking. I can truly believe I almost got it. Sorry, I'm picky. This is why I don't go live because it takes me sometimes forever to do things. And a lot of times I'm not paying attention to the, the camera or the comments. Just woken, woken, woken. I don't have any like major clubs of paint anywhere so it don't look so you still see the uh, you know the the texture or whatever on the scales I don't want any big old hunk of paint sitting there drying that would get stuck 
do to see all my lines. I did glob up it on there. Make sure I got everything covered. Okay. Feel happy with that? Should be a little easier. Minty was in there with David, so I left her in there. And of course, now she's realized if I'm not in there and I'm in here with the door shut and she can't get in. So she's out there sniffing and pawing at the door every once in a while. She'll probably bark. I see. Every time I look, I see a new spot. Now, if I do happen to have missed a little spot of the eye with a piece of tape, I can always go back and wipe it off with a little bit of acetone. Turn it around. Turn it over. Grab another piece. There's one. There's a clump.
Look, she's got it. Oh, a Lloyd. I... Got it. Oh, oh my God, is asleep. Ladies and gentlemen, let me take off my flippy flop. that part. Now I'm going to do like I did the plate. There's the purple with the blue flashy color. Because this is such a long stinking process and I don't want to smear my paint, I'm going to wait for this one to dry and then when it dries we'll come back and we'll add the black in there, um, the green, the blue, and then that will be the next video. Thanks for watching. Alright, I have been so busy doing other things and doing other orders. Um, and trying out new stuff and I have not had time to finish my dragon cup. So this is the final step before epoxy. I'm going to go ahead and do the nails. Um, I couldn't find, actually I haven't had time to look, um, the uh, mirror fingernail polish that I wanted to use, but um, it's okay because I ended up getting gold, silver, and uh, rose gold and copper, I think, uh, flakes. So I thought, well, that will really stand out. So that's what we're gonna do for the nails. And then I've got my glitters here. Um, we're gonna put some, just some random glitters here and there for an added little extra sparkle because I love sparkle. Um, I mixed my favorite glitters from the Glitter Getters. Uh, this one is Make Me Believe Color Shift. And I can't tell if my angle's right on my camera, so bear with me. And this one is called Dreamweaver, and they're all color shifters, or the one these are that I'm using. And then I have a bag of what's called dump glitter. And basically, when you do stuff and you got extras, you just dump it all in a bag, and sometimes it turns out pretty nice. So I mixed it in a little bit of that with those two colors that I told you. I got my Mod Podge my gold flakes. I taped off around here because I have never actually used the gold flakes. Um, I know you put them on there and then you kind of brush them with a brush. So let me grab a brush. I am so, 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 so bad about rinsing out my brushes. David yells at me all the time and I'll be like, I need new brushes. <sighs> oh well, it happens. Okay, so like I said, I have never done this, but we're gonna try it. That's why I taped off, so I didn't get the gold flakes anywhere else. Uh, just in case I have enough dye and everything else on me. Stained blue and, you know, so we might as well just wear a glove because I think I'm gonna have to Push this on here. Like I said, I have never used this stuff. I think you just lay it in place. If it doesn't work, I've got other stuff I'll use too. Yeah, that's not working. Okay, that's not working. Plan, plan B. Because I don't like that. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Stick, stick to plan A, hang on. 
Hang on, kiddos. Maybe I just wasn't brush. Maybe I just wasn't brushing it hard enough. No, that's weird. Okay. Back to plan B. I also have the stuff. Maybe not as flashy gold. But once we get some epoxy on it, it'd be so super shiny anyway. It's not going to matter. And then I will figure out how to do that stuff for the next one. Okay, let me make sure I get you back in frame. Okay. And that brush stinks. One second. One of these days I'll get my crap together. <laughs> what you playing with, Granny? Hmm? There we go. That one's better. <clears throat> yeah, I wanted it to have the gold nails to bring out the accent of the gold that I have around the cup. Once I get the nails done and add the random glitters, I am ready for epoxy. And I cannot wait to see what all this looks like. I mean, obviously you're gonna still, you know, the claws aren't gonna be completely covered in epoxy and, the, and this, you know, the, the eye. That gives it the 3D effect. There are some gold claws. I'm going to peel my tape because I do see a spot where the tape is covering the claw. Gwenny is running around like crazy playing with anything and everything she can find to play with. Yesterday she had, um, I dropped a, p a big old piece of uh, waxed paper <laughs> and she grabbed it and was running around the house with it playing the crinkly noise I'm assuming. Got a little fuzzy. Make sure we got them all covered. I don't want to come back later and say, oh, I missed a spot. All right. I believe. I believe his clouds be done right there. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, let me grab one more glove so I don't get Mod Podge all over me. What you got now, huh? A little plastic cup? Where'd you find? Where'd you find that? She likes to dig through my little totes and see what she can find. And Miss Minji's a good girl laying in her chair as always. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Now. Random glitters. Alright, man frame. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna rub my finger in a little bit of Mod Podge. and rub it in some random little spots here and there. Oh, need a piece of paper. Stay. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
Excuse me. I don't understand why I'm clearing my throat so much. Just patting it down. I don't want a whole bunch. And I'll let it dry a little bit. And then I'll go back and take a dry brush and kind of dry brush it. Make sure I got all, you know, I don't want huge, huge um, sections of it. So I'll just get all the extra off when it dry brushes. So just a little bit of glitter here and there. I love glitter. I love sparkle. So, of course, we can't just have metallic paint. Oh, no, no, no. We have to have sparkle. We have a, f oh, I don't know what I'm thinking. We have a fancy dragon. She is Miss Adiva. Like I said, just some, definitely got fuzzies on my cup I'm gonna have to clean off before. We try to epoxy at the bottom. So I'm laying them on towels to hold it while I'm working on it. Some random little spots just to give her some whoops give her some sparkle I might be washing you out too you need I don't want a whole crap ton. Maybe a little bit here. Bring out the colors in her eyes. I don't want it on her. Maybe make this spot a little bigger. Like it's the back of her head, you know. good with glitter. No, I lied. Because we're going to do the whole bottom. We might as well just do the whole bottom. Instead of it just being that plain black. I was just going to leave it the plain black, but then I... Oh, you know what? Let's just glitter it. So just a light coat. Should we get that whole bottom? Open a whole bunch. Okay, I think that's good. I'm just gonna dump it in there. Like that. And we'll get the spots that we didn't get, cause yeah, no. I know you can't see what I'm doing. All you're seeing is my glittered mess. I'm just dumping it on the bottom there. Making sure I've covered anything that I've put the little Mod Podge on. Don't have to be completely covered. We just want some bottom sparkle. Okay. Now I'm just going to go through and look and see if I think there's any spots. We need a little dry brush. Off for a second because I have some here and I don't really want some on her eye. Get that off there. There we go. All right, just gonna look. Maybe a little more right there. 
got more it picked up more of the little bitty glitters than it did the big ones. So let me dump. I don't have my little holder over here, so I have to hold the cup and try to scoop up glitter at the same time. Excuse me while I turn it my way so I can see for a minute. I see one little spot that needs just a little more. Where'd it go? Maybe not. Okay. We're good. All right. So there we go. There is the oh, low battery. Oops. There is the dragon cup. I'm going to let it sit and then I will seal it so the glitters don't move everywhere. And then I will start doing some epoxy. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks for watching everybody.